Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm gonna show you how you can bring character creator form morphs into Unreal. So first of all you have to export your character, your base character. In our case is Camilla and we will use uh, we are gonna use the default body and we have to export it as FBX. We go here to FBX and uh, export clothed character, right? So we have to select the target tool preset. We will select Unreal and just the mesh, not mesh and motion, just the mesh, right? So now we can click export and OK and uh, pick a name for your uh, FBX. To be able to identify easier in the future, I'm going to pick Camilla normal, right? It's a normal uh, body type. I'm going to save it. It's going to take a little bit. Be patient. And now I want to create uh, a morph target. I want to have a fat Camilla into a Unreal Engine as a, a morph target. We go to morphs and just select body or full body morph targets. You can select whatever morph target you want. You can do your character and modify your character as you want. But in this uh, example, I'm going to just make it uh, fat, right? Gonna make it fat like this don't uh, i don't want to over uh, exaggerate overdo it you know to exaggerate with it and now i can go ahead and uh, click on export fbx again clothed character same settings and export to unreal i'm gonna name this fbx file camilla fat Now we can go back to Unreal Engine. In Unreal Engine, I'm going to create a new folder just so be able uh, to separate everything and I'm going to name it CC4 and I'm going to import our skeletal mesh. We're going to import Camilla Normal. This is our character in game or a cinematic or whatever you're building and uh, we only have to import this FBX file, right? So I'm going to use the standard shader. It's faster to process. It's going to take a little bit. OK, it's done. And now we can see if our character is correct, well, uh, corrected, uh, correctly imported, right? Everything is fine. And we can open it in Mesh Morpher. Just save it first, just to be sure. Now open it in uh, Mesh Morpher. In Mesh Morpher, we have to go to Tools and create from Mesh Files. We have to select the base front axis as Y and use T0 reference pose. The same we have to do for the morphed uh, files, file, right? Select morphed use T0 ref pose and uh, use Y as front axis. And now we can go ahead and select our uh, our FBX files. We will pick Camilla normal as our base file. And Camilla fat as our morphed file. It looks good. Press OK. Oh, we have to pick a, a morph target name. Just pick any name you want, I'm going to pick fat and uh, press OK. The morph target uh, was uh, successfully created. Just save the, uh, the skeletal mesh so we have everything uh, saved in case uh, anything happens. And just test it in a skeletal mesh previewer. As you can see, this is the morph target. It looks good, but we have some skin going through the underwear and we want to fix this, right? So uh, go back to uh, Mesh Morpher, open uh, the fat morph target by double clicking on it and just select Sculpt, right? We can see the skin going uh, through underwear in a lot of places and we can fix this in uh, Mesh Morpher very easy. Just pick a proper 
brush size so you can work as you want to have a very low strength for the skull brush we don't want to make uh, very obvious changes just let me undo we have to select the sections we want to modify we want to modify the underwear and the bra this is what we want to modify just select them in the mesh sections and now we can just stroke a little bit with the brush so we cover those uh, gaps right just very small changes not very obvious just so we we have everything covered properly you know I think this should be it yeah that this is it now we can go ahead and save and uh, check again the morph target in skeletal mesh previewer as you, you can see everything is fine no more skin uh, going through the underwear and uh, yeah this is it I hope you find this video helpful guys and see you around. Bye.